decode the calculus student's love note. I love you for limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches 0. To decode this wonderful note, let's take a look at how we would find this limit. We cannot use direct substitution because if this function were f of x and we said f of 0, plugging in 0 for x would give us 1 over 0 squared, which is undefined. So we cannot use direct substitution to find this limit. So we're going to have to work a little bit to decode this, this love note. Let's take a look at a graph of this. As uh, 0 approaches, as x approaches 0, coming in from the left, it's going to shoot up. This graph is going to shoot up like this along that vertical asymptote of x equals 0. Coming in from the right, x is going to shoot up. I'm sorry, y is going to shoot up and going up to infinity and beyond. There's a clue. So if we were to find the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches 0 from the right, that's the green bar here. Let me code this in in yellow. So coming in from the right, it goes up and we say this limit equals infinity or increases without bound. Coming in from the left, if we were to say the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches 0 from the left, that's coming in like this, then it's, it's actually coming in from the left, right? X is, x is going uh, closer and closer to zero, but along the graph, the y value is, is increasing. So we say this equals infinity. Now, where the two connect, just like hopefully this young calculus student will connect with the person of his desire, the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches 0 then, if both of these are equal, coming in from the right and from the left, then we can say the limit as x approaches this number also equals the same thing. So equals infinity. So I love you for infinity is his clever way of saying this. Uh, maybe he needs a little help with in that department, but, but it's clever nonetheless. So let's take a look at another example, a limit as x approaches 0, a limit of 1 over x. Now, if we try this as a love note, we would, well, this would might be give some mixed signals because what's going to happen is if you graph 1 over x coming in from the left, it's, gonna, it's going to um, shoot down like this because if x is negative, um, we're going to have a, a negative value for the a negative output for the function. And coming in from the right, if x is positive, well, we'll have the graph will look very similar to what we have above, shooting up. So if I were to say the limit as x approaches uh, 0 from the right, the limit of this function, 1 over x, I'll write 1 over x there just to make it clear. The limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0 from the right, well, that equals infinity. And the limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0 from the left, that's this one, that equals negative infinity or decreases without bound. So the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x, that does not exist mixed messages. So there's an example of infinite limits.